Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm currently in the south of Germany. I'm in an area called Berchtesgaden. Maybe some of you have heard of it already because it is definitely quite popular for photographers, but also in winter and summer for all kinds of sports and activities. The reason why I'm here is because there's a few places here that I really want to photograph. Now, mind you, I'm probably not gonna cover half of what you can get here because there's so much opportunities here. There's so much opportunity for landscape photography here. So these are just uh, a few places that I've picked out that I really wanted to capture. In this video, I'm just gonna take you guys along with me to go and see all these cool places and hopefully capture some cool images. stop here in Berchtesgaden for me is uh, this church that you can see behind me. It's the Maria Gern church. I'll write it down here and it's quite easy to find. You just type it into Google and Google Maps will take you there. Um, so like I said, there's not many secrets here anymore. I'm here for sunset right now even though it's very overcast so I don't think we're gonna get any color for sunset. But I was just uh, taking some photos already and it actually looks quite nice. The light is very soft. It looks quite moody. I might take a few more photos. I reckon I'll probably stay here and try again tomorrow for sunrise. Good morning guys and uh, what a morning it has been so far. It started off looking pretty dull, no color in the sky as the sun was rising but then all of a sudden like some of the clouds hanging around got like pink, yellow and it just looked absolutely beautiful. Snow on the mountains like I could not have asked for a better uh, morning. I wasn't able to film anything because um, I was just flying around as soon as those colors popped. Taking photos has my primary focus and so yeah sometimes I kind of forget to take video. Yeah right now I'm just uh, taking a few images of uh, the mountains here. Some beautiful clouds just above them just as we get that last morning light. But yeah absolutely fantastic morning. Very very happy. I love using the telephoto lens to really capture that detail in the mountains. And these kinds of photos are always a great bonus when out on a location like this one. So it's quite obvious from these photos that that little bit of morning light and color in the sky makes a huge difference in the photos. Here's the morning shot and the cloudy evening shot next to each other. Now I do like both of them. But I actually wonder which one is your favorite. Feel free to let me know in the comments. All right, guys, I've arrived at the next location, which is the Church of Saint Sebastian in uh, Ramsau. So it's about 30 minutes or so from the church in Maria Gern. I noticed I've been shooting a lot of churches lately, but I guess it kind of makes sense here in the Alps because some of these churches are absolutely stunning. And then they have this beautiful mountain backdrop so they make for such an interesting subject to photograph. When I'm 
composing these shots, I'm always kind of trying to find a perspective where I can hide some of the ugly things, I guess, or some of the distractions. Because a lot of these churches are in a town or they're surrounded by a parking lot. Um, there's cars parked around it. So I don't really want all of that in my photo. So I'm trying to find a perspective where you can hide a lot of these things behind bushes or behind trees because obviously a lot of these things um, can be edited out and I do that quite a lot as well but you know it's always easier if you have less editing to do. Let me just show you what I have here. So as you can see I have um, the river coming into the frame here more or less from the middle and then the bridge leading up to the church and um, like I said I've moved down low so that on um, this side and behind here I can hide some buildings behind the trees. Alright so the sun has just popped out of the clouds and it's looking so beautiful now because so you can see here all along this grass which I have on the left of my frame the light hitting the water looks really nice I have put a polarizer on so that it doesn't reflect too much and uh, you probably can't see this on the GoPro footage here but behind there somebody's uh, making a fire I guess it's creating this fog or this uh, smoke well because it's a fire it really adds to the frame so it looks really cool next location and it's probably the most famous one here if not one of the most famous ones here in the uh, Berchtesgaden area it's called uh, Hintersee it's a beautiful lake surrounded by mountains as there are of course many of them in the Alps there's some really cool rocks with uh, these trees on them so they make for a very interesting subject so it's now the middle of the day and it's kind of raining yeah, I'm just here to check out a few locations because I will be coming back tomorrow for sunrise when hopefully the lake will be very calm so we get some nice reflections. That's the plan at least. We'll see what happens. So there's all these uh, really cool rocks in the lake. And then you have these beautiful looking trees or little branches coming out of them. They're really going to be the subject for most of these photos. So I'm just going to explore a little further because I think uh, just around the corner is where the main attraction is. Yeah, we'll go check it out. So uh, yeah, these guys is what I meant by main attraction. So they're probably the most photographed, but uh, with good reason. I mean, even just on the GoPro like this, it looks so cool. It's quite all right. Just walking past the lake, I could see the lake is very calm. And there's also quite a bit of mist on the lake. So yeah, very promising conditions. Yeah, we're still about half an hour away from sunrise. So I hope that mist sticks around. All 
All right, so uh, I just finished shooting those uh, iconic trees on the rock there. And uh, I'm here now taking this, what do you call those anyway? Like travel photos, I guess. So I'm gonna be stood here on this rock and then I'm framed really by, well, these trees here and then the reflection of the mountain just here. Yeah, as you can see, I'm kind of set up on this rock on the hill here because I was set up down there first on the path but I was too low, so then my body and my head would be in the reflection, which I don't really want. So yeah, I'm just running up and down this hill, taking a few photos. All right guys, that was it for the photos here at uh, Hintersee. I think I got away with the, well, at least one or two okay photos. It started raining quite heavily at one point, so that's why I just thought, I mean, that's it. Because really the rain was on and off, and every time a little bit of rain came, you'd lose the reflection. And really, that's what the photo is about, is about the, the reflection in the lake. So if you don't have that, you can do the really long exposures, which I did a few of, but yeah, it's not really what I would want from here. All in all, still quite happy with uh, how the morning turned out. Really can't complain. I think I'm gonna end the video here. This is my last spot here in uh, Berchtesgaden to photograph. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. I really do appreciate it. And uh, if you want to support the channel, leave a like, leave a comment. And if you're not already, do subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.